Now I need us to fix a few things in here before we move on. Okay, so let's take this edge loop down here and dissolve it. So I'm gonna put two in the middle here, and let me see. Let me just take these ones here as well, and we're gonna dissolve all that. So just dissolve all of those edges. Take this one in and that one. Press Alt and M and merge it at the last, like that. So with that done, we're gonna take. Let's dissolve these ones again and add them back in. Add in two, and uh, let's fatten it. Up. Let's fat. Let's fatten this up. So press Alt and S, and then let's just bulge it out a little bit, or quite extreme, slightly extreme, something like that. So with that done, we have to move things, these vertices around more to, you know, kind of make it look a little bit better. Or what we can do is we can go into front view, like this, and uh, let's just take all of these vertices here. Make sure this is the active element. Go over to the front view, press S and then X, and scale this down so... It follows the line like that, and we can do the same thing to the line next to it, like that. Go into front view, press S and then X, and scale this down to right there. Alright, so that should look great. Yeah, so that was all I needed to achieve. And also right over here, this one, I'm going to dissolve this edge right in the middle. Okay, I want this side to be more beveled than less beveled. So I'm going to take this one, and uh, let, me, let me just dissolve... Let me dissolve all of these as well. So dissolve those edges and take this and this and merge it at the last like that. So with that done, uh, I want to hide this one again. I'm going to take this one and hide it. And I'm going to take all of this and press I to insert the faces like this. Again, put a boundary in here. Just disable boundary like that. And let's insert this again to about to about here. And press Alt and H to bring everything back. Let's slide things around over here just to you know, fix things a little bit better. Let's keep this one away. I'll just slide this down a little bit more and slide this up a little bit more and that one up a little bit more. Yeah, so I needed it to be a little bit more rounded than what we had. So let me just take, let me make this the active element, press S and NY, and I'm going to scale it out just a little bit like that, just to make it more rounded like in the reference image. So I'm going to go down here now. Let me add in one more loop cut in the middle like this to sharpen things up a little bit like that so that is looking great I think let me dissolve let me dissolve this one and let me dissolve this edge I'm gonna put one in the middle and raise it just a little bit okay compared to the other one the initial one that we had so this looks great I think it looks fine let me get down here Let's fix this area right here. So press S and Y once you've selected those ones. And scale this out just a little bit like that. S and Y. Until it's flat. Like that. Alright, so that is looking great. It is looking good. Nice. Let me get on over here. Just take this and bring it in a little bit more. Oh no. That's not the one we want to bring in. This is the one we want to bring in. So let's just pull it in a little bit more, just to sharpen that area. Yeah, very nicely like that. So that was all I wanted to fix on this, pretty much. This was just a fixed video, nothing really. So in the next video, we'll actually be making the uh, the bumper.